my name is Chong from Food Technologies undergraduate student from UMT and I have a question from uh, it's about a phenomena that already happens not obviously but it occurs every to everyone in the for those uh, among all of the religions and others are uh, not only for Muslim Buddhist, Buddhist and other uh, Hinduism the phenomena is most of us are more concerned about going to the church or mosque and have, having a wish to the God and maybe hope that the God will give the, give the things that we want uh, without any action or anything because this phenomena is very occurs to uh, very already bear in our minds because, uh, for me in my point of view is that uh, we believe God because God is a mirror to us so that we can ask him a question or uh, any wish so that we can uh, in our inside they can arrest uh, energies or knowledge and strength to help us to overcome this problem but I can see that most of us having uh, a very wrong concept in this phenomena so if Dr. Jake have uh, agree with this, can give uh, advice. If not, can give uh, some explain in details. Huh? Brother, if I understood the question correctly, we have most of the religions have a phenomena where they go to a place of worship, whether it be the church, whether it be a mosque, and then they pray to Almighty God and they ask for what they want. That's what. So what's your question? I understood the phenomena. What's the question? Can you on the microphone, please? Yes, can you? Okay. What's the your question, question? Is why become uh, why people will uh, become like this? Uh, in all, in other ways, actually, we want to have a belief in God that we can uh, the God will give us a strength and knowledge about how to overcome. Why? Recently, most of us, even the youngsters, why they can't have a, this kind of mind that uh, we have a wish to the God, maybe the God will give what we want in letters without any, taking any actions. Why this phenomenon uh, happens now, so, now today? If I understand the question correctly, he's saying, why do people go to church or mosque? Why do they pray? Why is the reason? The reason is because they know that God is the creator, he is the supreme being, he is all powerful and he can grant us what we want. The difference normally is when the people go to pray to the place of worship, it's called as prayer. Whether in Christianity it's called as prayer, in Hinduism it's called as prayer, in Islam we call it as salah. salah. Now the word salah, many people translate to pray is not the correct definition because to pray in English language is to beseech to ask for help so when a Christian goes to church he asks for help therefore you call it a prayer we Muslims when we come for Salah the word Salah is much more than asking for help the dua that we do after the Salah is actually prayer but in our Salah besides asking for help we even thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we get guidance Therefore, I prefer calling Salah as the programming towards righteousness. So when we come for Salah, for example, the Imam, the leader, he recites Surah Fatiha, the opening chapter, and after that, he may recite Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90, which says, Ya ayyuhallazina amun, O you believe, innamal khamru wal maisuru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, wal anzabal azlamu, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, Rishtam minamali shaitan. These are Satan's handiwork. First animal alukum tuflihun. Abstain from the handiwork that you may prosper. So here, when the people come for salah, they are getting guidance from Almighty God. They do not drink alcohol. Do not gamble. Do not do idol worship. Do not do fortune telling. These are Satan's handiwork. Abstain from it. There are the verses of the Quran which say do not cheat. Do not tell lies. Be honest. Be kind. Be merciful. So in our salah, it is much more than asking for help. 
Besides asking for help, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we also thank Him. Therefore, I call this as a programming towards righteousness and every Muslim minimum should offer salah minimum five times a day. Why? Some religions are once a week, some are once a day. We have five times a day. Why? If you allow me to call the human being a machine, you agree it's the most complicated machine, more complicated than the computer. Now normally when you program a computer, the program runs unless there is a virus. If a virus comes, then you have to reprogram it, correct? Now here when we come for Salah, when we go out, we see around us so much of ill things happening, so much of wrong things happening. That's the reason our God, our Creator knows that we should be programmed minimum five times a day to be on the straight path. That's the reason in our Salah we say, Ehdina Sirat al mustaqim show us the straight path. The path of those who have earned and favor, not the path of those who have gone astray. So here in a Salah, besides asking for help, we are also thanking Almighty God and we are also getting guidance from Him. For example, I ask you, why do you have three meals a day? What? Why do you have three times food a day? Three, three times what? Food, food. Food. Because uh, provide energy and also uh, rebuild our, our cells. Very good. Provide energy, rebuild our cells to give us health. Same way for spiritual soul, for reconfirming and rebuilding a spiritual soul, minimum we have to come five times a day. That is the reason we come to the mosque. <laughs> Who says this? Our creator. That is the reason if you read the Bible, in the book of Daniels, it says that you have to pray to God thrice. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says you have to pray to God unseasonally, as many times as you want. But the church has said, Sunday. I don't know why. Nowhere in the Bible did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, say pray only on Sunday. Pray unseasonally. Pray as much as you can. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came and said minimum five times. If you want, you can pray more. You can pray Tajud. You can, you can pray Shaq. Mashallah. Allah Allah. Minimum five times. Because this is food for our soul. So that we remain on the straight path. And we are obedient to our creator. And we behave as good human beings and good Muslims. Hope that answers the question. Thank you so much.